Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Something we always like to do at the launch of every new Call of Duty is take a look at the rarest items you can get right away. And this year in Modern Warfare 2, we've got a lot of very cool sort of exclusive content bonuses that you can earn in game via a handful of different methods, whether it's buying something in the in game store, whether it was playing the game at a certain date or doing a select, uh, you know, bundle or something from a specific retailer or a uh, collaboration with Call of Duty. So we are breaking down the absolute rarest items you can currently get in Modern Warfare 2, starting first with one of my all time favorite bonuses in Call of Duty history, I would say and that is the Burger King bundle. Uh, this is something that is only available in select countries. I think it's 40 countries worldwide. The United States is not one of them, just a heads up. So uh, if you're outside of the United States, definitely check with your local Burger King, or I believe in Australia, it's Hungry Jack's that's also doing this promotion. But basically, uh, at Burger King, at Hungry Jack's, there is a specific Modern Warfare 2 order that you can get, which ends up giving you the Burger King Operator skin, then also an hour of double XP and double weapon XP. So uh, it's a very cool skin, in my opinion. It's like the Burger Town skin, if you will. He's got a mustache. He's got the Burger Town shirt. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's one of the more funny skins in the game because it's not as serious and I'm all I'm all about that it's one of my favorite skins like I said so uh because it is so limited in terms of regions it's obviously not in the United States where a lot of the core player base is it's limited to just specific countries and then because it's not going to be like a year-long thing this ultimately is one of the more rare items you can currently obtain as is the Mountain Dew bundle. This is something that will eventually run out of stock. It's a bit more, uh, you know, worldwide available than the Burger King bundle is here. But by buying select Mountain Dew products, you end up getting some COD points, which is pretty cool. It maxes out, I think, at 1,200. You get some double XP, which obviously is huge. That happens every year. But then eventually, you'll also get the Mountain Dew Operator skin. As I'm recording this video, Mountain Dew has not fully released this skin to the game, but it will happen at some point in time. And it's just like a, uh, you know, the Mountain Dew green skin that's available in game. So if you're looking for double XP, if you're looking for that operator skin, which ultimately is the rare item out of this bundle, be sure to check out select Mountain Dew products at your local retailers. Moving on, we have another bundle that I think is hilariously awesome. That is the Jack Lynx bundle, uh, beef jerky, if you will. With select Jack Lynx products, you end up getting some bonus content in game. This includes a calling card and emblem, some double XP, then also the SA Squatch operator skin, obviously the Sasquatch operator skin, which is like a ghillie suit that kind of looks like Bigfoot, kind of looks like a Sasquatch, right? Which I think is uh, another one that's really cool. Obviously we have like sort of all the serious operator skins, the mill sim skins and whatnot. And then you have ones like this that are a lot more fun. They stand out a little bit more. And again, because this is limited in quantity, eventually they will stop, uh, you know, releasing these sort of uh, MW2 marketed Jack's Links uh, bundles. This operator skin is not going to be widely available at a certain point in time, making it one of the rare items in game. And honestly, I have it myself. I haven't seen too many of uh, these in game as I've been playing. So definitely one that you might not spot super often. Next up, we have another food based bundle. There's a lot of these this year. Uh, spoiler alert. We've got the Little Caesars bundle. This one is available by ordering uh, a specific pizza order for MW2 that comes with Mountain Dew as well. And for this, you end up getting some double XP yet again. You get an emblem, you get a calling card, and you also get a charm. It's like a pizza pizza calling card, but it's also like an animated nuke at the same time, a pizza nuke, if you will. So definitely stands out in game as well, at least when the calling cards are actually loading in. Now, real quick, before we move on into our next rare item, just want to remind you guys that every single day I got you covered with the latest news, updates, class setups, tips, and all things going on in Call of Duty. This is your one-stop shop for all that. So if you want to guarantee you're always up to date, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. Around 52% of viewers watching are not already subscribed, and I'd love to see us hit 900,000 subs before the end of the year. So we'd love to have you guys join us on the road to that. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know by dropping a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. Let's try and aim for 2,500 likes. Uh, next up here for our rare items, we have our final food bundle of the day. That is the Papa John's bundle. This is only available in the UK to my knowledge. And with this, if you order any large pizza, classic side or uh, chicken side, you end up getting a new emblem, a charm and a calling card all themed around Papa John's and pizza. So there's a lot of pizza bundles this year. There's a lot of uh, interesting operator skins this year based off of the various food collaborations with MW2. The remainder of our rare items today are more so based around in-game content that is uh, more branded for Call of Duty specifically rather than more mainstream brands like Burger King, Mountain Dew, so on and so forth. Uh, you can actually end up getting the Protect the Crest calling card for picking up a pair of Control Freaks themed around MW2. 
These again are sort of the wow supplies last option here. So these sticks are not going to be around forever. And it just so happens that if you want to pick up a pair of these MW2 theme sticks and get that protect the crest calling card, you can actually use code immortal at checkout. I am a control freak partner, been partnered with them for a long time, and I use their sticks on all my controllers. They're game changers. So if you want to get the cool calling card, but also get a discount, you can throw in my code at checkout. I'll be sure to link that one down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it's like sort of the task force 141 calling card from MW 2019, but it's animated. It's green. I think it looks pretty clean that rhymed i don't know why i felt the need to point that out but i did and it's staying in the video now moving on we have uh, another rare item that we see pretty much every single year this is going to be one of those ones that you see a lot right now but over time you'll notice it less and less because it's not going to be available forever and that is the call of duty endowment pack currently available in the store this retails for $19.99, but all proceeds go to the Call of Duty Endowment to help place veterans in jobs. It's a fantastic program. I love the fact that they do these bundles every single year. For this one, you get a new operator skin, you get two weapon blueprints, some double XP, a vehicle skin, some calling cards, and even more in that bundle. But they only have this available until they reach a certain threshold in sales, then the bundle goes away. So it's not going to be something that's going to be in the store forever. They might bring it back, you know, later on in the year, but because it is a limited time bundle right now, I it is ultimately again one of those more rare items in the game and honestly i think well worth the value you get some cool blueprints you get some cool uh, you know bonus content and it's all for a good cause next up something you actually can't earn anymore hence why it's on the rare items list is the various beta rewards for mw2 we obviously got a bunch of different rewards for ranking up between ranks 1 and 31 back in the beta or whatever the max rank was, including the Scar Blueprint, then also the Automatic Pistol Blueprint, alongside, you know, some calling cards. We also got an Operator Skin as well. So the beta rewards that were there are now obviously not obtainable anymore, meaning if you see anyone with them, that's something that no one else can earn if they didn't play the beta. So definitely something you're not going to see a ton of throughout the remainder of the year. Then finally, right now going on, we have the limited time Twitch drops event, which is a sort of collaboration with Activision and Twitch, where you can actually go through, watch uh, any Twitch stream where the streamer has drops enabled. And by linking your Twitch and your Activision accounts together, you can end up earning a handful of different rewards, uh, including a blueprint, a charm, a sticker, a calling card, and an emblem as well for up to 60 minutes of watch time. I myself, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be live. This is going until November 6th, just a heads up, and then the uh, sort of campaign is over for that. So they're only available for uh, this select period of time. So I'm not sure if I'll be live. I will link my Twitch down below in case I do end up streaming, but uh, Lazy, you guys always see me talking about him in the videos. He's always in the gameplays. We're always playing together. He's always streaming. So uh, I'll link his Twitch down below. He's got drops enabled. If you guys wanna go and check out his channel and earn those uh, you know, exclusive rewards before again, November 6th when that campaign ends. But as of right now, those are some of the rarest items you can actually earn in Modern Warfare 2. A surprising amount of food related bundles, but also some pretty cool in game content spread across all these. Let me know down in the comments below which of these you guys currently have in game. Uh, for what it's worth, a lot of this stuff could also be purchased on eBay through codes there. That's how I've uh, gotten some of my stuff but they're a lot more expensive and definitely not worth the money unless you're someone who just likes to collect this stuff for the sake of collecting it. Uh, they're definitely upcharged over there. So while their uh, campaigns are super limited in time, there will probably be some codes that exist on eBay, you know, for the foreseeable future, but that's not always guaranteed. Anyways, that is gonna wrap things up for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it, it would be seriously appreciated. And if you guys are new here all day, every day, I got you covered with all things going on in COD between news, updates, class setups, tips, you name it, you're gonna find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications to always know whenever I post a new video so you can always stay in the know. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.